this is a victory that I could just listen to my body and just stop when I needed to stop. Do you know what today is? Date day. <laughs> we are celebrating today mm -hmm. with dates. 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 Not the fruit. <laughs> no. Is a date a fruit? Yes. Yes, okay. I sensed it when I woke up. We need to have breakfast in bed, which Peter volunteered as tribute to go get the breakfast. He brought it in. I ordered it from Amazon. Uh, this cardboard box. He, he got us each a bowl. He made us each a bowl of oatmeal. He brought me the syrup. And that's for my oatmeal. Ollie's <laughs> sitting up here with us. All four of us are up here celebrating. Day, day. But for real, we have a plan to go out to lunch. <sighs> out like pick in up. our car. Pick up lunch. I was thinking the other day, I wonder if we will ever eat at a restaurant again. It is crazy. <laughs> so we're starting our date day off in the bed. Thanks for bringing us the Amazon box of goodies. You're welcome. Don't mind all the prescriptions that we picked up yesterday. I'll bring them up to my medical closet soon. But now is the part of the day when Peter is editing. <laughs> they got your baby. He called in my sweatshirt. And what am I supposed to do? Stay there forever. So I asked Mary to go get the camera so I could edit the video. And here we are. Oh yeah, he likes to sniff the water bottle cap. <laughs> uh, Where are those people? We let our cat sniff our water bottle cap. Here's the camera. Thanks. And then while Peter is editing, I'm coming in the working room. This is a new project that's coming soon. Exciting. Ah, here we are. So I am working on some of my tiny cactus paintings. These are originals. And I usually paint them all on a big piece of paper and I just make rows of them. And then I cut them out two inch by three inch. And I use our Fry Life special cutting thing. What's it called? What is this called? paper cutter, got it, and I cut them out individually. Here are some that I've just cut out. These are still up on our store if you wanted to get one and hadn't gotten one yet. And then I usually sign them, and then I put them on this adhesive, and I use an X-Acto knife, and I cut around the adhesive. So it's perfectly behind the painting. And then Peter cuts the backing, which is like a hard, this is like a scrap of the backing. Yeah, it's like a hard, it's a mat board actually. That's what it is. It's for if you were making a mat and framing some art, but we use it as the backing for my art. Um, he cuts it to the exact size. This is obviously only a little piece. And then I adhere it on there and put it in a teeny tiny plastic bag. And then it comes with a teeny tiny easel. And that's how it works. So that's what I'm working on. I'm cutting them, signing them, backing them, or like adhesiving them. <laughs> and then I will put the backings on when Peter makes them process and other things I have on my desk laugh every day small decals the 
which we're calling these bumper stickers, but I feel like we should call these like anything stickers. You could put this on your laptop. You could put it, if you had like a really big water bottle, this would be fun. Actually, it's not even that big. If you had a water bottle, this would fit around. That would be super fun because these are weatherproof and dishwasher proof and everything. Those are still on the store. Uh, what else do I have? I'm just like welcoming you to my desk. Here are my stickers. Uh, easels. Did I say tripod? Sometimes I call these tripods, but it's an easel. And a little heater because sometimes I get cold, so I like set it up under my desk. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Also, this um, like organizer thing I've had for years, and on this side of it, I've put a ton of our stickers, and some of them were like t um, short term, what's it called? Like exclusive. So, like that was the 2019, I believe, for CF Awareness Month, and sometimes maybe there's something you guys don't know about yet <laughs> and yeah little fun things here happy birthday that's not keeping it rated g sing happy birthday to them <laughs> oh yeah you should we're celebrating sushioki's third birthday they have sushi burritos so that's what we're doing for our date this is the part of the date that's been planned for over a week we've known on friday of next week we're gonna go and have sushi burritos they're busy in there good they put the to-go orders right on the table by the door so it's nice you just like walk in the door and grab it I'm going to break. Should we go to the ATM for our yeah. week, weekly date? We watch people at the ATM. It's creepy and weird. We don't watch them. Yeah, we do. We don't watch their pin numbers. <laughs> We're halfway across the parking lot. We're, we people watch. Yeah, we like to watch the people. Yeah. Cause Imagine their stories. <laughs> what? That does seem creepy. Okay. So, ATM, rainy day, us parked over here having lunch, and happy birthday, Sushioki! And happy day. So, what does Peter have? I've got a spicy tuna roll. It's got tuna, avocado, red onion, spicy, spicy sauce. And I have... Spicy sauce on the side. Oh yeah. It's basically like a California roll with some lettuce and some fried shrimp. Are those seagulls? They sure look like seagulls. They just found some toast in the parking <laughs> lot. <laughs> they went bonkers. Free toast! Dude, this guy's got it all. Oh man. Oh man, oh that guy's got it now. Oh man, you're being bossy. You share guys, your share, toast. Share your toast, bro. Wow. Wow. Oh my. Quite the show we got. Nobody's at the ATM, so we're watching seagulls. It looks like a pile of teeth. <laughs> Peter just said, Ollie, you've got a problem, bro. Those are in fact not teeth. Those are pieces of a ball. A ball. A that, very like durable rubber ball. <laughs> durable. Durable. <laughs> that is a Chuck It brand and we have found for Ollie the ones that work best are Planet Dog. Although we do have one Chuck It ball that he hasn't destroyed. Yeah. That one just this one got destroyed. <laughs> But it's one of Ollie's favorite things. He makes a nice little pile for us. Well. He scatters them everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> for us. And. Thanks, bro. Because he loves doing it so much. And because he doesn't ingest it all. We let him do it. I've been getting a little bit better about giving myself 
I've been allowing myself and giving myself grace to do less on the bike. It's like my goal to do it for a full 30 minutes, but the last week or so I've been noticing, well, a couple of days I wasn't able to do it because of my headaches, but like today I just got on it and did it this afternoon and I got about 10 minutes in and I could feel like my lung, like my upper lobe of my lung, like <sighs> closing in on itself. Not a great feeling. It's like a kind of like a cramp in your lung, lung pain, who knows. But I just take that as like my body telling me, well, 10 minutes was enough for now. So I stopped after like 12 minutes maybe, but I'm okay with that and I'm saying that this is a victory that I could just listen to my body and just stop when I needed to stop because sometimes your brain's like no I wanted to do 30 minutes but it's not smart if your body sometimes you got to push your body and you got to be like yeah I know your legs are sore but keep going that's true but if your lung is screaming at you probably want to listen to that all right the next what <laughs> You started filming too? Oh, you said this to another clip. The next part of our date day. Well, we aren't very big like TV watchers. We had a TV down in the living room during the Christmas months to watch Christmas movies, which we may have used it once. But more often, we just like to sit in bed and we have a TV in our bedroom that we can watch movies or shows on. Anyway, Mary Spoon <laughs> ran out of storage. So we are watching a show. Harry joined us. Ollie joined us. That's an awkward shot. This is for us. This is like a different kind of day. Mm -hmm. I mean, we still got work done, but it's fun. A special little rest time. I think because it's so rainy out, it feels fun to be all cozy in bed. So cold and gross. With our animals. Yeah. And each other. Mm. Where'd he go? His brother soaking up the heat under You're looking that chair. For him? Look under. Oh! Harry's new spot. Oh yeah, is that where he is? Let's see. Harry? <laughs> doing this is a heater vent and I guess Harry's enjoying laying under the chair the other day he like laid on the heater vent yeah he's okay he's under there <laughs> very strange I just have to document my very exciting hairdo I think it was oh it was twisted up into a bun and then after we watched a show, this is the after. Lousy. I mean, that's exciting. It's like a firework coming off my head. doing when we saw him under that chair yesterday well we couldn't find him at first and then we found him and it cracked us up because we were like wow he's still doing funny new things even after 15 months or 14 months of having him we still he makes us laugh for dinner we're having this leftover pot pie that I made yesterday and Peter's gonna eat the leftovers. Did you already get it out? Peter's gonna eat my leftovers from lunch. Every once in a while, there's this thing that happens where what? I get really, really hungry. Ah, uh, yes. And then we go to eat, and then I completely lose my appetite. Mm. And then Peter's like, well, is there anything at all that you could possibly eat? And I think the answer is a burger. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the next phase of our date day. <laughs> get a burger. 
Gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. Peter enjoyed the leftover sushi burrito. It's true. And I'm so glad. And I tried to eat a few bites of the pot pie. Uh, it just wasn't, I think my appetite just got zapped. Then I felt like I needed to eat, but I didn't feel super hungry, so I ate a pimento cracker. And when Peter came back in seeing me eat a pimento cracker, he was like, come on, let's go get a burger. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. I bet ya, I bet ya I can put it down. We got a burger in the bag. That's a good way to end a date night. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Yeah. Ollie, can you say good night? <laughs>